G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines on one of the first days of winter here in South East Queensland. Got a brand new Stessel to test today, which is fresh out of their factory up at Coomera. Uh, it's the Coast Runner 630 and it's on a Platrix 2 hull. Now, Platrix is a hull that Stessel have had for years. Um, it's built on the play and words between plate and matrix and they are built like an absolute tank underneath. Um, Platrix 2 features, this hull features broader reverse chines and in, actually this boat sits at the maximum 2.5 metres of beam so um, it's a great walk around configuration. You can fish 360 degrees around it but it also has a fold away hard top for that comfort and of course a great little cabin on the inside. Um, it's got a base station at the back it's got a great duckboard and uh, an entry and exit setup um, comes on a twin axle uh, trailer which you need for a boat of this hull and it has 250 litres of fuel under the floor but we're going to go and talk to Mark Johnson now from Stessel about some of the technical aspects of this boat. The Stessel Coast Runner is one of the, the best fishing platforms that we have in our range. It's ideally suited to coastal type style of fishing. Uh, there's plenty of walk around space around the centre cabin. Uh, there is sleeping bunks in the cabin. If you want to get out of the weather, you can tuck in under there. Um, the, the raised front casting platform means you can fish over the top of the high rails um, and then right down the back, the open cockpit, there's plenty of room at the back end uh, for fishing there too. Platrix 2 this year, um, it is a, the 2020 version of, of our Stessel Platrix hull. Uh, with cust listening to customer feedback um, and a constant desire to keep innovating, we, we've now increased the beam at the chine level, right where the, water sits, where the boat sits on the water, um, by 10%. So we've got 160 mil wide reversed chines uh, on the boat now, which give a much more sure-footed um, ride to the boat. Uh, easily driven, up, uh, stable at rest and uh, underway. And the boat is constructed with a series of fore and aft and, and, and transverse frames that are welded from floor height and welded to the hull. So the structure of the boat is integral before we even put the floor into the boat, which gives us a range of flooring options we can offer. Um, up in Queensland, we tend to fish barefoot, warmer weather, timber floor with carpeting is ideal. Down south where it's colder, people are wearing shoes um, and in much rougher conditions a sealed checker plate floor is, is what they tend to run with. The 630 Coast Runner, all the boats in the Coast Runner range are, are a big beamy boat. Um, because of this they sit up on the, on, on the trailer up above the guards because of the width. Um, to get access to it we have a transom door which is standard on all the boats and there is a dive ladder that folds down so you can get on and off the boat easily up on dry land. A coast runner this size with a 150 horsepower on the back um, and a dual tandem axle trailer is probably too big for a, a small family sedan to be towed around, but your normal four-wheel drive uh, dual cab ute uh, is, is ideal for towing and, you, and, and tows well. Uh, Stessel brand has been around for 45 years and is still going really strong. Uh, this year has seen an amazing growth in the company. We've relocated to our new facility in Coomera um, and we have a full production uh, ahead of us at the moment. Um, we still build them, we listen to our customers, we're still innovating. We, we are, we'll never stop innovating and we'll keep creating new Stessels every single year. So that's the technical information from Mark Johnson. Let's get out of the water and come back to you with some performance statistics.
Well, there you go, a classical winter's day here on the Gold Coast, and it was a day where we could take this Stessel offshore to where its natural environment is and, uh, and run up and down the coast, have a look at those high rises from the ocean side and, uh, and take some really nice stuff. Um, a uh, little bit of wind chop out there, not much swell on the water, but a little bit of wind chop and of course in a quartering sea like any aluminium boat, you can get a little bit wet if you drive it the wrong way, but uh, overall a really comfortable boat. We stayed out of the, the sun in that T-top and if you wanted to you can get into that little cabin there, which has a surprising amount of room in it for a, uh, for a, a centre cab boat. Um, this is a beamy boat, it maxes out at the 2.5 metres, which is the maximum towing width on Australian roads, and, and Stessel have used that really well. Um, the walk around, the actual width of the walk around is really wide, you don't have to get sideways and shuffle around it, you can sort of walk straight up and around it, and there's plenty of fishing room 360 degrees around that console. The console itself, it's got a lot of the DNA of Stessel's new consoles, we've, we've tested them before in some of their smaller boats, and that same DNA you can see in these larger boats. You have the ability to flush mount big sounders, like up to 16 inch you can flush mount in here, as well as all of the other electronics and gauges that you need. Now this boat is rated to 175 horsepower. This one is powered by the Yamaha F150, which is a 2.7 litre engine and a stalwart of the Yamaha range. It, it's not the most economical boat around. Uh, wide open throttle at 63 kilometres an hour at 5,800 RPM, you get one kilometre per litre of fuel burned. But if you want to drop that back to 3,500 RPM, which is this boat's best cruising speed, 36 kilometres an hour using 17.8 litres an hour, and that gives you just over two kilometres per litre burn. Now, considering this has a 250 litre fuel tank in it, that gives you a theoretical, theoretical range of nearly 500 kilometres for you to get into some trouble in this boat here. So plenty of plenty of range and, and plenty of practical features in this boat. Um, when we saw this boat at the start of the day sitting on the trailer, it actually sits quite high. It has to sit on top of those trailer arches. So you're starting from a very high platform now you add those high sides to the side of it and it's going to be a difficult boat to get in unless you have the standard fold down steps and the dive door and both of, both of the transom door the big wide duckboard and those steps are all standard in the boat you can't order a boat without them and that's a real necessity for getting stuff in and out of the boat when you're uh, when you're loading at the dock the wide decks on this boat the fishing space that little fold down uh, rear lounge at the back all combined to give you a great fishing platform. Now, it doesn't matter if you like anchoring up and fishing over the back, if you like taking a few of your mates and drifting offshore, or you like getting up the front and casting lures at pelagic fish, you can do all of those in this sort of boat. Now, um, as far as plate boats go, this is pretty good value for money, as tested $68,000 with the motor, with the sounder that's in there, and on that twin axle trailer. Um, if you want more information, visit www.stessel.com com.au and make sure you like Stessel Boats on Facebook for this and any of their other new releases that they have coming through. So if you're, a, if you're in a tropical climate, if you like a big tough boat that you can go to the reef or be just as happy in a river with, make sure you check out this Stessel.